Muy buenas, cazalogro, cazatrofeo, ¿qué tal estáis? Bienvenidos de nuevo al canal, hoy os voy a dejar por aquí el platino de Grey Down. Un platino de una hora y media aproximadamente, en el que eh, si hacéis todo lo que yo dejo en el vídeo no vais a tener mayor problema. Lo único que al final hay que hacer dos finales diferentes que también os pongo a partir de qué punto tenéis que hacer las diferentes eh, elecciones. Así que bueno, si os gusta dadle a like, compartir y suscribiros que es totalmente gratis y ayuda muchísimo al canal. Y ahora os dejo con el wardrobe. What is this? A phonograph cylinder. Tragedy strikes again. It was only a few days ago that another boy was reported missing from St. Mary's Church. This is the seventh in a string of children reported missing since just last month. All of them were poor souls from St. Anne's Orphanage, apparently under the custody of Father Abraham Marcus. A witness confirms... His... They've gone mad. Are they accusing me? Each night I pray for the safe return of the altar boy. God as my witness. Could there be an unholy will at work here? Now, we have breaking news about the killer priest from Black Tower. Eyewitness confirms he really did murder those eight children. Father Ryan Carpenter is here with a message for him. Father, we have to speak about what you did. You used to call them angels, but in the end you killed them with a straight razor. They were innocent Heavenly children, Father. Father. Help me in and these dark times, for you know I am your humble servant. I hear the demons gnawing at my faith. My mind is clouded by doubt. Guide me towards the light in these darkest of hours. Wherever the child may be, I know you are with him. I will not lose my faith. I know you will give me a sign. Forgive me, Father. Tonight I will leave this world. My suffering is more than I can bear. I always thought I could find solace among the mortals, but I was a fool. You'll find me at the end of the world. I am waiting for you, and please, do not despair. Could this mean that you're alive? This place? Is this another of the devil's tricks? This place is not of your world. It is within the grasp of heaven. It is a part of paradise. God himself gave us this place. Only the brave, the righteous, and the loving can stay here. You're not one of them yet. In time you'll change. Soon your eyes will see the truth. You'll break the seal of the mystery. of Christ. What a curious gift. You will find more of these. They are all scattered around my world. Bring eight of them to the great priest, and he will reveal a great mystery to you about life and death. Remember, every place that you'll visit in my world has a hidden icon somewhere. Leave no stone unturned. Was that place even real? I think I'm going insane. All things is no more. God is dead. The creator of all things is no more. God is dead. The creator of all things is no more. God is dead. Your kingdom come, your will be done. 
our debts, as we also have forgiven our debts. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Sacramental bread. What kind of trick is this? Holy water. There is a story about a priest and his whore. His name was Father Abraham. I never felt ashamed about my relationship with Alexandra. She always had the Roman ritual. I used this on David to banish the demon that tormented us for a long time. I want the blood and the flesh of Christ. The smell of wine. A phonograph cylinder. David, if you don't show yourself, the entire village will see me off to the gallows. Grown-ups never understand anything by themselves. And it is tiresome for children to be always and forever explaining things to them. Listen, I want to give my mother a flower. But the flower is dead. Can you bring it to life? Those icons look exactly like the floating ones from the shore. David, is that you? No, he's Alexander. Who is Alexander? He's my brother. I don't want to speak about him right now. Some memories bring back pain.
I really love to play such types of games with you. You're a bit boring as all the adults, but you will get used to it in time. Yet, I don't understand. I can't believe someone destroyed this precious book just to hide a key inside. Oh God, do I really have to relive these events? I, I must prepare myself then. I must get my rosary and my stole, the Roman ritual and the holy water. My stole. Prayer to Saint Michael the Archangel, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, Amen. Come to the assistance of men whom God has created in his likeness and whom he has redeemed at a great price from the tyranny of the devil. The Holy Church venerates you as her guardian and protector. To you the Lord has entrusted the souls of the redeemed to be led into heaven. Pray therefore for the God of peace to crush Satan beneath our feet, that he may no longer retain men captive and do injury to the Church. Offer our prayers to the Most High. That without delay they may draw his mercy down upon us. Take hold of the dragon, the old serpent, which is the devil and Satan. There's something in the oven. Impressive! A music box in the shape of a heart. This is indeed a great artifact. I must have forgotten it that night when I left the house. Be very careful. You are responsible for what you found. Why does this place look so familiar to me? Something tells me that the innocent and the beautiful sleep here. I fear that I am the one who is lifeless and not these poor souls buried here.
don't cry, woman. The children are now in the embrace of heaven. Only the brave can enter the great laboratory. Only the one that can crush a demon and bring it as a burnt offering for the architect of the worlds. A demon as a sacrifice. Where could I possibly find one? I guess it's time. Let me tell you a story. Once upon a time, there were two great warriors, a shepherd and a little prince fighting against an unjust king. The two warriors reached the gates of the city and called out their enemy, the king. He cowardly hid behind two of his archers. It so happened that some of their arrows were dipped in poison. One of those arrows hit the little prince. There was warm blood in his fragile body, but then it was corrupted by poison. His lungs desperately gasped for air, if only for a soft breeze of it. His mind was the only thing that was kept safe. Then he started shedding tears. Some say his crying echoed more than a thousand tolling bells. Oh God, I always asked myself why God allowed children to die. Don't be sad. You must be brave now. Do not linger like this. You must journey forth. Be brave. Good evening, Father Abraham. Are you there? If you are hearing this message, then please go outside. It appears that someone has a surprise for you. You can find it next to the fountain in the churchyard. I suppose Satan has baked some special biscuits for you. Wait, wait, Father. There really are biscuits. Don't forget to share them with those hungry. This is the first snow I've seen in years. It makes me feel oddly comfortable. This, this isn't snow. What is this? Oh, God. 
clean. We are both pure and obscene. We are children who died on bad times. We are called Marai. There are seven of us. We want to go back in hell. But we want to drag you with us. A demon as a sacrifice. What a Sandra, you first woman. No, but I remember you didn't like women so much. Oh, I'm sorry if I said something wrong. that I have the demon, I can finally enter the church. I thought a lot about your dedication. I sense something good residing within you. Hmm, those so-called Eucharistic tears are in fact pure water. I need two molecules of hydrogen and one of oxygen. crystal seems to be alive. I always kept a watchful eye on the great laboratory. When there were no more children left to play inside the laboratory, I closed the altar and buried the key. Whomsoever wishes to enter needs to create a new key from Eucharistic tears, essence of earth, and tincture of the sun. Then they must find my cave and forge it inside the Athenor. Can this be possible? What a peculiar planet. People grow 5,000 roses in one garden, yet they don't find what they're looking for. 
thought what they're looking could be found in a single rose or a little water. I can rise above the earth and watch everything moving in this universe. Now is your time. This must be... Now, David, where can I find Elder Joseph? I need to forge this key. Elder Joseph lives not far from here, but his cave is hidden. I will help you find it. Outside you will find that I have arranged a sleigh for you. I always loved the winter. I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Who, who are you? I am his father. We will be at your side until the end of times. My son, unfortunately, if you are reading this, it means I am no longer of this earth. Now that you have brought the world's rarest treasures from the temple, you need to mix them inside a simple jug. Put everything inside the ethanol, then light a fire. You will need my bones for this to task. You are wondering why? Because alchemy works with the very essence of God's creation. May God bless you. This is it. Now that I hold this key, I feel as though I'm one step closer to finding the truth. Indeed, I'm afraid the truth could either elevate me to the grace of God, or destroy my very being. You are haunted by seven demons. I'm afraid the cruel and early embrace of death has greeted them unbaptized. You need to place their hearts on this altar to put them to rest. I also need the skull of a saint. I advise you to search for a book of rituals in your library. It will help you when you have to face them. Seven hearts and the skull of a saint? I should search for clues in my library. I also have a special book there, Eastern Rituals for Banishing the Devil. Years ago, I travelled to Transylvania. There the townsfolk had a peculiar way of dealing with the ghosts of unbaptized children. They would take the body out of its tomb and bring it to the crossroads. Then. They would drive a wooden stake through its heart. Others would perform even more terrifying acts. Some would burn the corpses and would make coffee from their ashes. But why am I pondering upon matters such as these when God is nonetheless beside me? I shall play by his rules, for I am no witch doctor.
the exorcism was a mistake. Now I can clearly see David was not possessed. That was only in my mind. He would often ramble about mysticism, about after death, about eternity, about things I couldn't comprehend at that time. I took this as a sign of demonic possession. What child in the world speaks Hebrew at such an early age? He would preach the gospel to the children from the orphanage. He would then go to church in the middle of the night and would stay there, crying for hours and hours. I followed him one night. He kept on praying, God have mercy on me, oh God have mercy on me. I thought that he needed help. So this is how the ghosts of the unbaptized children want to drive me mad? You stand no chance, Satan. I believe in God and he is my saviour. Do you hear me? Could this mean that the seven missing children are in fact victims of cholera? I knew I couldn't be guilty. I'll call the radio station right now. They deserve to know the truth before it's too late. Good evening, sir. Good evening, caller. This is Father Abraham Marcus, from St. Mary's. Good heavens! The killer priest? The child murderer himself? Silence your lying tongue! You know as well as I do that those children didn't go missing. They died of cholera. Stop turning people against me with false claims. Why are you all trying to crucify me by connecting me to their deaths? Father, Father, please, listen. We don't care if you killed them or not. We're particularly interested in that poor little altar boy, David. What do you do with him, hmm? Please, do tell. <laughs> Enough of this madness. They're acting like demons as well, like wild beasts. I shall linger no more. One night, the ritual book, when the Where northern lights could be seen clearly in the night sky, I took this dagger and slit the throat. You don't scare me. Do you understand? I'm on your object. What harm could I bring? I know where you can find the book, but for this you must sign the blood pact on the shelf right here. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. This is not what I asked of you.
Ah! <laughs> the book David told me about. Now, I should go down to the crypt. I hope the gate to the old cemetery is open. Welcome. This place was my home for a long time. We are holding a tea party on the nearby island. We can't start until everyone is present. My brother Alexander was left behind locked inside his bedroom. Can you open the doors and call him? Of course. My god, this place, it's alive. All grown-ups were once children, but only few of them remember it. You know this isn't funny. It's just a game. Go ahead. No. It seems you're beginning to understand. It was just another test. Now you need to find seven toys and bring them to me. In exchange, I will give you the names of the seven children you need to find. The dolls are all scattered inside the house.
I will tell you the truth about how Alexander died. David and Alexander never had a chance to play together as children do. Years ago, before meeting you, they lived at the Little Prince Orphanage in Romania. Then there was an outbreak of cholera. All the orphans were vaccinated with only two syringes. One of those was unsterilized, and it happened to be the one used on poor Alexander. David was spared. We pass through time like wafted leaves in the wind. I will forever keep Alexander in my heart. Image, I am of your unutterable glory, though I bear the scars of my sins. O Lord, who watches over children in the present life and in the world to come, because of their simplicity and innocence of mind, abundantly satisfying them with a place in heaven, bringing them to live in radiantly shining places where the spirits of the righteous dwell. There are three of you. We are Trinity. For they... Because of my love for God. You dare speak of love? What about your love for me? You don't understand. This is about something greater than myself. Please. I said leave me alone. Stop. Where are you going? Please, don't do it.
you still don't understand. We lost everything, Abraham. Everything. I just can't handle this pain any longer. Suicide. Such an incorrigibly selfish thing. Deliver thy servant from all the workings of unclean spirits. We make this great divine holy invocation and plea, O devil, for thine expulsion as well as this rebuke for your utter annihilation, Satan. Fear, isn't it? You must not fear. By transcending reality, you understand that fear is for those who see only the material world. But you, you can see more. You can see my world. The problem with you is that you don't have faith. For example, do you believe with your own heart that you can raise a temple sunk in hundreds of years ago from the water?
And now here is my secret, a very simple secret. It is only with the heart that one can see right. What is essential is invisible to the eye. I have lived a great deal among grown-ups. I have seen them intimately, close at hand, and that hasn't much improved my opinion of them. We all used to call him the Little Prince. The proof that he lived is that he was charming, that he laughed, and that he was happy. If someone is happy, that is a proof that he exists. After the meeting with my master, you'll fear no more. You'll see a reflection of him. Who's your master? And why only a reflection? Mortals cannot see his splendor and live. Is this the countenance of your glory? and not to remain nor hide in him. God who is holy, beginningless, frightful, invisible, infinite in power, and incomprehensible in divinity, the King of glory and Lord Almighty, he shall rebuke the devil. forth the water of the sea, and pours it upon the face of all the earth. Lord of hosts is his name. Satan, the Lord, rebukes thee.
I'm, I, I'm fading. I'm dead. Do not worry. There's a magic potion that can bring you back. I will help you brew it. A red rose. Thank you, little one. It is the time you have wasted for your rose that makes your rose so important. This is a strange ship. It was my home for hundreds of years. David, did you steal this cross? Mercury? Why keep it in such a precious container? This must be the page from St. John Chrysostom's book. Let's see what it says.
sulphur, or rather philosophical sulphur, as an alchemist would say. What is this sound? The Romanian monks from the old monastery. It is a call to prayer. Once I played on this beautiful island, one day I found a cave. I walked toward its entrance. Inside, I found the most beautiful toys and the most exquisite sweets. So this is your hiding place. This is not a game anymore. Shine within my heart, loving master, the pure light of your divine knowledge, and open the eyes of my mind that I may comprehend your mysteries. In you, I see the light of life. Make thy slave a child of light. I am alive. David is an angel. Soon the pain will end. Hell is not temporary. Hell preserves the pain. After death you have no flesh to experience your sinful delight. No stomach to enjoy the food, no tongue to enjoy the sweet wine, no body to enjoy the pleasures of your horse. Yet you crave for all those things. This is pain. changed into a brothel. Blasphemy. Earlier it was just a storage room for the church.
love you. Do you remember how we met? Six years ago, at an exhibition of paintings depicting St. Francis. I was in mourning at the time. You noticed me. You approached me, seeing that I was upset and dressed in black. You, a stranger, approached me in an art gallery and comforted me. Who would have done that? I started crying. You wiped my tears away with a white handkerchief. I felt something I could not describe. I was in love for the first time. You told me that you lived your life in vain until the day you discovered God. Wounded as I was, I fell prey to love. But I never thought you'd put your love for God above me. I still love you. It doesn't matter anymore. Consider my hatred to be a strange kind of love that can't find a way of expressing itself other than this. You dare to say we shall never see each other again. It is inhuman. Listen to me, Abraham. I do not care if you are a priest, an angel or a devil. It may seem crazy to you, but it makes perfect sense to me. You can't leave me with nothing. If you do, I'll tell everyone about your past. The diabolical rituals, the orgies, everything. No one will believe you came back to God. Give me the child I want, and I swear I will leave England forever. I do not deserve to be abandoned with nothing, like one of the children at the orphanage. A few kisses you call a sin, considering the depraved life you led before becoming a priest. Fate has messed with your mind. Give me a child to spoil, ruin you. It's crazy what's going on, Alexandra. We must stop. Except that no matter how much we try, you will never be able to get pregnant. You're infertile. I'm sorry, but maybe that's God's will. Do not despair. Whenever you need my help, write to me. I will send you money. You need time to heal your soul. We both need time. Today we stop wounding each other. We will stop sending records again. Goodbye, Alexandra. God have mercy on our souls. I love you. See? I knew there was a way. It's perfect. We both have what we wished for forever. We never considered this before. It's not a nothing. On the contrary, I cannot express my happiness in words. I remember when I was telling you that I would denigrate you in front of people. How stupid I was. The devil clouded my mind. God really exists. I see the grace of God each time I look in in his sweet eyes. I love you, Abraham.
erase us from the face of the earth. So, it is true. God would never cast us away from his face, for there was a holy man praying for our sins. The skull of the saint who saved us from God's wrath. You've done it! You banished them! I know you have a lot of unanswered questions, but words are the source of misunderstandings. Inside, there is a special toy I crafted for you, the key to our little secret. see a way to open it without risking breaking it. This is the last world we will ever visit. Goodbye, my friend. Ce no pasta, părinte. Ne-am fi dat noi copilul la orfelina, dar l-am iubit. Până la urmă, eu l-am născut. Niște oameni fără mine l-au adoptat. Niște ucigași. Dacă i-aș întâlni, dacă i-aș întâlni, le-aș smulge inima din piept cu propriile mele mâini. Da, cu propriile mele mâini. Și apoi le-aș vrâ-o pe gât. Ucigașii, ucigașii, ucigașii! Arză iar focul iadului să-i arză. Dumnezeule, copilul meu. Părinte, acolo de unde ați venit, ați auzit de nemernicii ăia doi care mi-au înviat copilul? Alexandra și Abraham. Oh God, why are you doing this to me? I can't pretend anymore that I don't understand what she's saying. I've adopted him, but I didn't kill him. No, I didn't. How did I become dressed like this? Parinte. Părinte, nu ne lăsa. Avem nevoie de preot la înmormântarea copilului nostru. Ajută-ne!
părintele aista. Este un adevărat înger. Trebuie să domnului, maică. Uf, să-l ajute Dumnezeu. Dacă n-ar fi fost el, cine ne-ar fi adus băiatul înapoi acasă? Cine știe pe unde i-ar fi ză... Let us take the son to his father. This is the path towards heaven, and there's no way back. I've never done this before. I've never buried a child, let alone mine. There must be a book to help me. myself and give my own heart to you.
I will come down once you've called the other seven children. They want to witness this special moment. I understand now. You came to my world as light, so that no one who believes in you would stay in darkness. I'll prepare for your glorious return to where you were before your fall, heaven. For this misery you have suffered, my love for you has grown. That is why, on your return and restoration, I will give you much more than I originally gave you before the fall, salvation. You can all visit me in my world whenever you want. If you come at any time, I shall never know what hour my heart is to greet you. So I'll always be ready to. Rise, rise into the sky to eternity and beyond. Please, don't die. Please, my child, forgive me. Forgive me. This will be our little secret. We'll meet again one day. In my indescribable grief, deep within my tormented soul, I searched for a way to keep him with me. I never wanted to know his fragile body returning to dust. I wanted to hold him in my arms for eternity. But I knew it would be impossible. 
I had to find a way of keeping him with me. But how? It was then that I had the idea. Alexandra couldn't stand the sight of it. She killed herself in a moment of despair. I kept his body in a bathtub filled with ice. I'll always keep you in my heart. People have stars, but they aren't the same. For travelers, the stars are guides. For other people, they are nothing but tiny lights. But all those stars are silent stars. You, though, you'll have stars like nobody else, since I'll be laughing on one of them. For you, it'll be as if all the stars are laughing, and it'll be as if I had given you, instead of stars, a lot of tiny bells that know how to laugh. Fear, isn't it? You must not fear. By transcending reality, you understand that fear is for those who see only the material world. But you, you can see more. You can see my world. Transcending reality, you understand that fear is for those who see only the material world. But you, you can see more. You can see my world. with you is that you don't have faith. For example, do you believe with your own heart that you can raise a temple sunk in hundreds of years ago from the water? I kept his body in a bathtub filled with ice. As I hold you, I feel the shadow of death wrapping itself around me. my faith. I have sinned, for I have betrayed innocent blood. No. 